Uh, just giving the cows a bit of cotton seed, Suzanne. Uh, 25 there, she's one of the uh, last ones to going to be calving. But, uh, yeah, probably, uh, probably another week or so yet before she's due. Um, first by the clean up bull number 23 over here. It's just starting to get a bit of uh, goop around the back side there. I, I'll bring some hay down to them after I'm going to try and get them in the yards and get her uh, get her split off and uh, the uh, old girl B103 I don't know where she is there you go. Here's, here's the rat pack down here <laughs> all, the, all the little ones they social, always socialise around the, around the water And there's, there's Millie, she comes in with the cows and that, she, you know, she doesn't worry about them, like, you know, she just dodges them, like, you know, they, they don't seem to see worry about her either. She, um, she just dodges them, she picks up a bit of shit in the paddock there, eats a bit of shit, that's why she, that's why she sits so much on the veranda. <laughs> oh dear. And there's a, a rat pack, a 18 there, she, um, she wasn't doing you know, sort of, uh, she was very quiet, always sort of uh, lying about, but um, she, uh, I shifted them the other day, and um, she didn't come with the main mob, and Jed found her in the, um, in the grass there later on, you know, tried to attack her, of course, and, um, and uh, I, uh, she actually came over to me, and uh, I could smell this strong smell of pus around her, and, and she had a big abscess inside her um, in, inside her, uh, her her leg, her, her hind leg. <laughs> there they go, chasing chasing Millie. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, she doesn't worry. Yeah. Yeah, she's coming back back in for. Yeah. Yeah, she's coming back in, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you just sort of see it's healing up really well, just inside her, uh, just behind a stifle there, in the Gaskin area there. But uh, here's here's some more of the of the Rat Pack. Having a bit of a talk to Jed up here. The other side of the fence there, that's a uh, that's one of the heifers' calves, a Thunderbird a bull calf. He's, uh, he, uh, I had um, the, the the two bull the two heifers' bull calves were. Um, up at the gate here before, I, I wanted to get the camera out and take a photo of the two compared there. They're, uh, they're probably about four, four weeks apart, but uh, you know, like the, the the young one, you know, he, he was quite a heavy calf and he was doing pretty good, but when you, you know, when I was standing side by side, it was phenomenally um, the size difference. The uh, the heifers are doing a pretty good job on their calves, I think, and, and um, the uh, that the, the uh, M4 I caught my eye the other day, and she's out of that uh, that little you know, heifer of mine. Um, the uh, the one that didn't sort of grow a lot because her mother didn't have milk. Well, she's she's doing a terrific job on it. Yeah. M6 there. He's a he's a black pearl. m 7s a black pearl too. M9, I don't know what M9 is. I know M9, M9 is our J9, whose first calf was uh, L9. <laughs> How's that for coincidence? M13, that's uh, that's that. That was that big Cornelian at birth. Yeah. Okay.